the early morning. <laughs> we're gonna pray. We're going to get geared up for our mornings. No, I'm just getting the um, printers out. These will actually go into the classroom. Hey, Ben. Uh, well, we're saying get coffee. <laughs> That's why I really started helping is I had so many kids and they needed help, so I started doing it. And then I realized that this was my call. Got a double yeah. coffee today. Coffee this morning. You got yeah. two. The greatest thing I thought I ever accomplished was getting certified in scuba diving. No, that was good. I enjoy that. But this is, it's, it's the greatest thing I've ever done. Alridge, can you move in a little bit, bud? Hey, I literally got stuck in the side of the road. We think, oh, when, when I reach this point, then I'll be ready to serve. If it's God's plan, he's gonna make a way for it to fit in to whatever else he has going on in your life. Every morning is exciting. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. I really don't understand why everybody wouldn't wanna do this. This is just the best thing. I mean, for me, I think Kids Church should be defined by teaching children to know Jesus. We're introducing children to God, and then in knowing Him, they might come to trust Him, and then they might love Him. Hello, everybody! You can hear me now. So we're gonna take turns, okay? If we wanna be Jesus-formed, right, we wanna look at what Jesus did. We see Jesus prioritizing and giving His undivided attention to children in the Bible. That's a thing that we should be doing. A huge part of the work of kids' ministry is building that space where children have a confidence that they are known and that they are loved. We're gonna do all of those things, but this is also a place where we're going to model for you how to be disciples of Jesus. God used his kids in incredible ways. I've seen story after story of kids sharing the gospel where people will come to the Lord because of that. These kids are always so excited to come. I do a lot of fun things that they really like. That's kind of like the door opener. If you see a really chaotic classroom, like the kids are comfortable. All joy comes from God. I imagine that that's what Jesus was doing with the children on his knee, that he was playing with them and having fun with them. They're learning and sometimes they don't even know that they're learning. You just share God's word. You're just, you don't never know what's gonna happen with it. It's nothing that I did, it's what, what God you does. Lord, as we just prepare to share the good news with the kids. We'll saturate our classroom. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord, that we could do great things in your name. You know, I, I, I thank the Lord so much for putting these kids in my life. And wow, it's a blessing. It, this is the greatest blessing of my life. The Lord just works in the class. I get blessed watching it happen because it's very supernatural and I'm just in between. <laughs> You know, if you feel God putting on your heart to perhaps serve in kids' church, say yes to Him. Don't wait to say yes. Say yes to Him now. If I looked back 30 years ago and thought I would be doing this, I would have said, you're crazy. And yet God keeps stretching me and just enabling me to do what I don't think I can do. And then I know it's Him. Kids' ministry is as diverse as humanity is diverse, right? You're a human, you're probably qualified to some degree. And we have an excellent team and they want to come alongside you and help you to get involved and to discover what God might do and how this might grow into something that you never even imagined. You're just going to fall in love with it and you're going to be hooked. <laughs>